Aloha guys, welcome to the channel, Hawaii's Only. I'm going to show you guys how to make this crazy delicious dish. It's confit fish on top of Hawaiian sweet bread, topped with French style scrambled eggs, creme fraiche, Japanese uni, and a homemade hollandaise. But first, let me take you into the water. Aloha guys, I hope you're enjoying the underwater spear fishing footage. My name is Kale D. Shanks. Welcome to the channel. We produce videos twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Spear fishing content, cooking tutorials, catch and cook videos. Please subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Aloha. So you make the outline? guys so we got our beautiful um, fillets here we can actually do sashimi with this um, today we're gonna do a confit hagi um, that's how we're gonna cook it we're gonna slow cook it in olive oil and then we're gonna mix it with a French style scrambled eggs and we're gonna make like a Hawaii's only eggs benedict and that's gonna go over our sweet bread and then we're gonna top it all with our hollandaise oh and then our um, our French style eggs is actually um, a technique that uh, the French use to make their scrambled eggs but we're gonna kick ours up a bit and add in some uni, fresh uni, okay? But here's your fillets. Um, in case you guys are wondering, the skin, look at the skin, it's like completely empty. I just rip that skin off. In case you guys are wondering, um, the reason why I use this little knife is because I just didn't want to damage my fillet knife, the tip. So I just use a shorter, um, like a paring knife because the scales on this guy is like, it's pretty much like armor. Um, but once you get that first slit in, um, it, it slits right open and you can pull the skin right off as you guys can see it's super simple so yeah hey go ahead and get you guys sell some hoggy um inside here it looks like there's a really fatty liver in there um, i seen some videos maybe um next time i'll try and cook some of that up too but yeah for now we're gonna do uh hoggy eggs benedict with uh uni and hollandaise on top of the uh, sweet bread all right i'll see you guys in a little bit What's up everybody, Hawaii's only back for another episode Catch and Cook. Today we're doing hagi. Uh, you guys will see the footage, uh, shooting some hagi, breaking down the hagi, yeah, depending if my editor wants to put it or not. But today we're going to be doing a confit hagi, which is basically slow cooked hagi in olive oil. We're going to be doing this like a... Uh, uh, well, the inspiration for me is um, fish and eggs. I love eating like uh, even a Japanese style where they do um, miso soup and eggs and rice and some vegetables. But today we're gonna be doing like a Benedict style. So we're gonna be doing confit hagi. We're gonna be doing some French style scrambled eggs. Putting it on top of uh, Hawaiian sweet bread, toasted Hawaiian sweet bread, 
and then we're gonna be doing a, um, a little bit of hollandaise um, just because I like that citrus and that tart and I think it's gonna be the perfect um, dish so yeah let's get started first thing is we're gonna confit our hagi so I got it all cleaned up here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna add salt and that's it just salt Okay, so to do our confit, we added salt. We have the uh, thermometer here. Oh, getting a little too high. Perfect. You want this oil, this is just a light olive oil. You want this oil to be at 140 degrees. I'm gonna do this for about, it's kind of thin. These fillets are small, so about 10 minutes. If it's a little bit thicker, then we'll do about 15 minutes. Oh yeah, the olive oil smells good. So this is just gonna slow, slow poach in this uh, olive oil. And then while this is hanging out, we're gonna move on to our uh, hollandaise sauce. So for hollandaise, we're gonna take some water and we're gonna do a double boiler. You guys seen this probably in another episode um, where I made Bernays sauce. And the Bernays sauce is a hollandaise and then we also add in some uh, herbs like tarragon and uh, we use uh, white wine and shallots. So here, we're gonna do a double boiler. Oops, let me get this thing dry. So, double boiler, we have two egg yolks and then we're gonna temper these guys. And we're going to slowly drizzle in our clarified butter. So the trick here is what, I, what I'm doing is we're trying not to um, stop whisking because we don't want our sauce to break. And then we want to keep it off of the, the boiler. Uh, we want to bring it on and off the boiler so our sauce doesn't turn to scrambled eggs. So if I'm not talking, it's because I'm focusing. I don't want to screw this up. But as you guys can see, we got a beautiful looking hollandaise coming along real nicely. And it looks about good. All I got to do is taste. Okay, so we have our confit hagi coming along nicely. We've got our hollandaise, and then now we're gonna do some scrambled eggs. So to do the, um, the French style scrambled eggs, we're gonna bring up our pot. Oh, shit. We're gonna take some butter, and we're gonna add it to our three eggs here. It's about half a tablespoon of butter. And then you guys might have seen on um, Gordon Ramsay or uh, you might have seen Gordon Ramsay or uh, Thomas Keller do this. It's the same uh, recipe. Well, it's a French style of scrambling eggs. So you take the three whole eggs, you put the butter in here, 
No salt, no seasoning, because um, you don't want to water down the eggs, and you don't want it to turn gray, and then you don't pre-scramble, you just do everything in the pot. So we put this in here, and then you take your spatula, and you're gonna scrape the walls of your pan, and you're just gonna keep doing this until you have the perfect scrambled eggs. They're gonna be super soft, delicate, and uh, delicious. off the heat and we just keep stirring. It's a slow process. What our eggs look like it's almost there i turn off the heat it's gonna finish um these eggs are gonna finish it looks runny but it's gonna finish with the heat of the pan and we're just gonna constantly be stirring this okay guys so we're pretty much done with this um eggs i put in the chives i put in the salt and the last thing we're gonna do for a little bit of richness sweetness and creaminess and a little bit of twist is japanese uh, Osaka uni. I think, oh no, Hokkaido. Sorry, Osaka. Hokkaido. I don't know what this is, but it was expensive. But yeah, we just put it all in. Mix this guy up. Oh, yeah. It's just breaking apart. Oh, it smells so delicious. It's gonna be good. Okay, now we're ready to plate. eggs French style scrambled eggs Benedict, French style scrambled eggs. Oh, I forgot to do the uni! Woo!